that is in here. Welcome back to my channel. So this is the part two discussion on color magic. If you haven't seen the previous video, I just mainly discuss how I see color from a uh, very limited extent and uh, physical perception. But today I want to talk about how I use colors in my spells and magic. So in the blog post, I mention that I use colors in different ways. So I mention like choosing a candle for uh, a spell. So I know in the previous video I mentioned blue. In the blog post before that I mentioned green. Um, in this blog post I also mentioned green. So like I've worked with green. I've used the color green for prosperity. I've used it for stuff related to growth, um, personal growth, professional growth, etc. I've used the color green in all types of varieties of ways. Other people and other witches and practitioners and traditions will have their own unique ways of using these colors. So, you know, use what works. And I also use what's available. And I, and I mentioned in the blog post as well that I ultimately decide what to use based on the spell itself, how the spell's crafted, what I find um, I need for that spell. I also focus on that because it's important to know um, what you're working with and what you have available to you and going with the spell that you're creating for the first, you know, couple years in the practice uh, helps or at least not even the couple years but just when you're in the beginning of your practice and you're learning about these things it's good to know and I like to experiment with mine so I like to experiment in magic altogether so I like to know how things work and understand how they work um, so I like to mix it up a little bit uh, so with that I go with what the spell is so spells for money I'm gonna try green or I'm gonna try colors that I would have personally associate with money but the only way I'm going to know that is by doing it and trying it and messing with it and seeing what colors work, what colors don't work, uh, what I've worked with before, what my personal experiences have been in the past, um, or just learning by trial and error. And uh, I mentioned in that blog post as well, uh, using colors uh, in other ways. I've used, you know, blue for healing. I didn't mention that in the post, but I mentioned like green. I've also used colors in like you know coffee that i drink i was a big coffee drinker back then so working with the um components of coffee all the color uh you know black for vanishing having it black for you know banishing anything or just um uh i could even use it for protection um not like drinking coffee but like black is just the color i'm using as an example but i've used color in co uh, what related to coffee like if i add ingredients to it um i focus on the um colors that those ingredients might have, um, taking health and safety precautions in mind. I've also used crystals to add energy to drinks that I've consumed, uh, not putting them in there for the record. Uh, I put them like on the side or in a dish on the side so the energy transfers. I do not put them inside the actual drink. That is very dangerous. Don't ever do it. Uh, there's my disclaimer there. Um, and I also mentioned doing uh, crys uh, crystals doing color magic and using color magic with uh within like a health and medical setting so i mentioned using uh, color magic in relation to wearing hospital gowns when i was in hospital and i know that sounds like a strange one but you know working with the color of those gowns and also working with um just the things around me uh that had colors um and i also have personal associations because I've worked within those spells like I've worked spells with those colors before so I've used white for all purpose sort of situations like if I don't have a green candle I can use white and I can charge it with that purpose of bringing me prosperity bringing me growth and abundance right so if I uh, only have quartz and I am wearing something um and I need healing, I'm gonna use that piece of clear quartz for charging for healing because quartz has a lot of conduction of energy and that is a really good energy conductor uh, within its own properties, in my opinion, and, and based on my experience. So I'm gonna use that. If all I have is, um, you know, a piece of paper and a pen and that piece of paper happens to be a different color, like maybe it's white and the pen I'm using, you know, I can't really hand write like that, but uh, let's say I'm just, you know, just for the sake of it, I'm just going to draw or I'm going to make something that doesn't really mean anything to anybody else, but it means something to me. And I'm putting my magical intent and I'm putting, um, you know, intent being the loose term there. If I'm putting my will into that and I'm imbuing it with magic, 
um, working with that color and maybe working with a specific colored ink. So like if I'm doing healing um, and I want to make a photo of me or someone else uh, being healed using pen and paper and some particular ink, maybe I'm using blue ink on white paper, which makes no sense in the logical sense, but in like a magical context, maybe that's what I want to use because it's all I have. You know, I mentioned the blog post, I work with what's available to me. So if all the colors I have are white or all the colors I have are, or crystals I have or quartz or, you know, things like that, I'm going to work with what I have and that's all I can do um, is work with what you have available to you. Um, sometimes you have to do magic when you need it the most, not when it's like the ideal time. So you work with what you've got. So those are just some ways I've used um, colors in magic. I've also used colors when I've built an altar. So for example, with my Samhain altar, which you will see very soon, um, I chose black because black is protective. Black is uh, removal of negative energies. And I want to come into the Witch's New Year with no crazy negativity. Life happens, things happen for sure, but I want to be um, safe about it. And I also honor spirits at Samhain. So um, that is the also underlying theme with the protection as well. No need to get any weird energies going on in my circle. Anyhow, I digress. So this is just a couple of examples, or these are a couple of examples of how I've used color um, within my personal practice and my own personal experience. I would love to know how you've done it for yourself. I would love to know what colors you like to work with the most. And I look forward to the next video. If you like what you see, please like, subscribe, share with your friends, and please be sure to set the bell sound to all so you know when I get um, videos or when your video, when you are aware that I am uploading videos. I hope you all are well and I'll speak to you all soon. Many blessings.